Welcome back to the Let's Play. I'm Outnumbered and this is episode 6. At the end of the last episode, we found these two desert villages right next to each other. Now, which one do we explore first? I guess it doesn't matter, right? Although I did see um, camel at each of these villages, we could actually breed the camels, which is something I've never done in Minecraft before. Every time I come to one of these desert villages, I uh, see the camels and I, I never breed them up. Uh, do I have cactus? I do have a bit of cactus. Let's collect a little bit extra. Uh, here we go. Uh, just so that we have some that we can take back with us, but also some to breed the camels with. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. Hello, villager. Oh, you have no profession yet, although there's a perfectly good workstation right here. Uh, there's probably going to be quite a bit of loot at this village, and my inventory is full from our adventures in the last episode. Uh, but let's have a look around. Uh, yep, mm -hmm. yep, nothing to see here. <laughs> Just a villager with his head stuck in the ceiling, as usual. Uh, look at these Badland Mesa Spire things. Those are amazing. Uh, will you follow me if I have cactus in my hand? <gasps> you love cactus. Uh, okay, I will. No, 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 don't, 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 don't sit down. <laughs> I want to see if I can uh, get this camel to come over to the other village where I saw another camel. Get up, lazy bones. Uh, I think camels are a little slow moving, so um, I'll probably see, uh, maybe, are you going to follow me? Okay, you, you do follow me if I have a uh, cactus. Let's see if we can get this camel to um, breed with the other camel I saw. The villages are pretty close together, so it shouldn't be too hard uh, to get, no, don't lay down, lazy camel. <laughs> They're always laying down. Follow me, sir. Hey, hey, I got juicy cactus. There we go. Okay. Wow, this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> Come on now. Follow me up the hill uh, and down the other side where there is another camel waiting. Uh, okay, it's a little farther than I thought. <laughs> Come on, camel. Right this way, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Juicy cactus. Did you forget? No, no, don't lay down. <laughs> they, they take forever to stand and, and uh, sit as well. Come on, we're almost there. Uh, just up the hill over here, there is a second camel. Follow me around the fountain. Very good. And just up the hill here is camel number two. Oh, don't give up. Come on. Juicy cactus. There we go. And here is the second camel. And soon there will be a little baby camel. Ah, don't sit down. What are you doing? Yeah, get up. You come this way. Meet me halfway, please. He's already trying to wander off. Hey! <laughs> All right, here we go. We're breeding the camels. Ah. And little baby camel. There it is. Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> oh, look at his little ears. Wait, come here. I got to see. Oh, the little baby camel. <laughs> Cute. All right. Well, we've bred the camels, and that's uh, something I've never done in Minecraft before, so we can check that off our list. So most of these villager houses aren't going to have any loot that we really need. Uh, but I wouldn't mind trading these hay bales to the villagers for a few emeralds. Hello, farmer. Don't go far. I have almost a stack of emeralds already that I've collected at this village. And if we head back over to the uh, second village, I'm sure that there are even more hay bales we can collect. Then we just need to find a farmer villager that trades wheat. And I need to clear some inventory space for that as well. Okay, here's the second villager here. Let's see if we can find some more hay bales. And I think the farmers won't be too hard to find. We just have to look for one of the farms with a composter. What's everybody running around all crazy for? Oh, you're just a little baby villager. All right, well, don't walk in front of my fist while I'm punching hay bales. Oh, I'm already over a stack. Okay, I didn't really want to do that, but that's fine. I need a place to clear my inventory temporarily. 
While I trade uh, wheat, that looks dangerous. Don't go down there. The real question is, how do we transport these villagers over, what is it, 2,000 blocks away to our spawn area so that we can set up our own farms, such as a uh, villager trading hall and an iron farm? We'll have to do... Oh, there's an armadillo here. I thought they only spawned in the savanna biomes, but uh, here they here they are, right in the desert. I guess you can find them in the desert, and or maybe it's just because we're in a village in a desert. Either way, there are definitely armadillos here. Unfortunately, I'm all out of brushes, uh, but uh, this house here has a bed and a chest I can borrow. Uh, so I'm gonna make some room in here real quick. Uh, let's dump some of our inventory in here. Uh, what do we not need right now? All of these things, I think, can go in here. Uh, such as this and this and this. Okay, that clears out a lot of space. Now we can turn these hay bales into wheat and trade with the villagers. Problem is, sun is setting already, and so we'll probably have to wait until the next trading day. Oh, look at the little armadillo all curled up in a ball. <laughs> is that the same one from down there? Probably. Oh, they really get around. I thought they were slow moving. All right. A uh, little baby villager is taking... Yeah, you, you, you stay out there. I'll take this bed. You can jump on the other one. That's all they ever do is they want to jump on the beds. Here, I'm jumping on your bed, buddy. Uh, he doesn't care. <laughs> all right, let's go find a farmer. Hey, the armadillo dropped scoot. That's cool. Um, I'm collecting scoot to make wolf armor, so we can put that... Um, with the rest of our scoot and hopefully the armadillo will drop even more while we're here and we'll be able to take a bunch of uh, scoot back with us to the uh, starter base so how to transport villagers well not through this ravine that's for sure <laughs> all right where's a farmer i want to trade some wheat now do you always curl up into a little ball like that or is it me am i doing that is it player interaction did i bump you no, that's not it. I guess they just sometimes do that, huh? It's like an armadillo function. <clears throat> okay, you have no wheat trade. Um, I could reset the composter, but instead I will check a different farm. And we will find a farmer who trades wheat. There's a farmer down here. Do you have a wheat trade, sir? You do. It's not a good wheat trade, but I will take it. Uh, let's turn all of these hay bales into wheat. And if we can catch up with this speedy guy, uh, we can trade for emeralds. Hey, that's our first time to uh, trade with villagers, and we get an advancement for that. We have some emeralds saved up already, but there's nothing really I want to buy from these guys. I wouldn't mind purchasing enderpearls, but we do have that warped forest uh, in the nether, so I'm not too worried about getting enderpearls. All right, I want to trade all this wheat away, but uh, our villager friend has locked up his trade on me, so I'm going to follow him around for just a minute and see if we can get rid of all this wheat. Because I'd rather have the emeralds. Where did you go? Okay, this is your composter over here. Okay, your trade is still locked. Are you going to, you know, do the thing with the composter where I can trade again? There we go. Okay, did that work? Yep, that unlocked the trade. We just had to wait for him to interact with his workstation. And now we're back in business. Uh, how, okay, we're up to a half a stack of emeralds, but uh, it looks like the wheat trade is locked up for good now on this villager. Uh, that's interesting with the tree here. And it grew as a large oak. I like that. Okay, not, whoa, that, this house is just full of... They're storing terracotta in there. <laughs> it's a terracotta storage area, I see. All right. Did we get any more scoop from this uh, armadillo over here? Where did it go? And where did I leave my magenta bed? I thought I saw something over that way, but I guess not. All right. Where's the armadillo? Up here somewhere? Hello, Mr. Armadillo. The 
It's going to be a long trip uh, back to spawn, but I'm going to try to transport a villager from this village back to our, our base by boat. Um, there is a river here that kind of goes in the right direction. Uh, so let's see if we can make this work. No guarantees. Uh, if I get stuck and I can't make it back to base, I can always leave the villager in a boat and he should be fine as long as he's unloaded. We can always uh, ensure his protection by closing him in to, uh, you know, surrounding him with some blocks or something. Uh, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to make two trips like this and eventually get two villagers back to spawn. Um, I also want to empty my inventory. We we collected a lot of loot on our adventure, and I want to secure it somewhere. Uh, now, if we pass another village on the way back to our base, um, I will consider <laughs> uh, picking up another village, another villager at the closer base, and transporting them instead of returning back to this uh, this double uh, double desert village that we found. This is quite nice, right? Look at all the coral reef. Oh, there's a village right there. <laughs> That's got to be closer, right? All right, we'll call that plan B then. Actually, that becomes plan A, right? Because I'm not going back to the double village uh, if it's a, if there's a closer one on the way. Uh, we are headed in the right direction, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take uh, more than a day and night to transport this villager safely back to spawn. So wish me luck. The hardest part might be getting around those mountains again. Because I can't think of any other way that uh, we're going to be able to get back to the place where we built our base at the uh, Flower Forest Biome. There is a lot of mesa and desert out here. <laughs> but I am headed in the right direction. Wish me luck. And, of course, I found another village even closer. This one's only 1,600 blocks away. Uh, but this is our villager here, and I had to stop to uh, sleep the night. So let's go this way and see if we can get our villager back to base. I think eventually we're going to hit land, but for now there's still some water that we can follow this way. Uh, once we hit land, we're kind of stuck, because then we'll either have to use beds or workstations to uh, try to get this guy to uh, stay with us. There's no way I can boat him over land. Ah, there's some interesting unexplored land this way. Look at all that bamboo over there. Uh, but we actually need to go this way. That looks like... Is that a shipwreck? Yeah, we need to go this way. Oh, you know what biome that is up ahead? That is a mangrove swamp. Oh, that is interesting. I wonder if we should stop there for some propagules. I think I have one inventory spot left. Uh, actually, 1,600 blocks away. We'll come back. We'll come back some other day for the uh, mangrove swamp. There's going to be frogs there too, I hope. All right, let's check out this way. Eventually, I'm going to get stuck here, but I'm hoping we'll be able to get pretty close. Does that waterway go inland at all? Oh, there looks like there's a regular swamp here as well, uh, which means we might be able to see the new uh, bog mob because we haven't found a, a trials chambers yet. So, uh, But if we go to a swamp at night, we'll surely see the new mob called uh, bog which is basically just a skeleton uh, that shoots uh, poison arrows. Yeah, there's a lot of regular swamp here, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see the mountains soon. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to get my villager over the mountains. Well, the good news is that we're only about a thousand blocks from spawn now. The bad news, I ran out of waterway, so we're going to have to go over land from here. I'm just going to wait until uh, the sun sets and sleep the night so that we have a full day 
to head across the land now. The villager might not take the workstation right away. Do you mind, Cal? I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking, talking to my people over here. Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to use this composter in my inventory to, uh, to lure the uh, villager through the woods here. And hopefully there's some water on the other side that will take us the rest of the way. Finally, back to the water. Wow, what a process to break and remove the uh, workstations over and over again. Uh, it worked, though. We're transporting this villager. It's just taken a while. All right, hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of the way from here. We'll find out soon. I'm pretty sure I recognize this area. I think we explored here a few episodes back. So it shouldn't be far now. Okay, there's a ruin portal up ahead, but that's not our ruin portal, right? Oh, maybe that is our portal. That means we're almost home. Yeah, that looks like a flower forest biome as well. I think we did it. We transported a villager 1,600 blocks or more. Actually, it was more like 2,000. That's definitely our portal. Nice, we finally got a villager back to spawn. Uh, so I'm going to put this guy in a safe place, and then we'll go back and get another one. Uh, but I think I'll mostly just do that one off camera. Uh, so, uh, let's see, how do I, where should I put my boat here? I want to leave the villager in the boat until after I've slept, just in case. And then we'll find a nice place to sash him away. Uh, or we could probably just leave him in the boat, huh? Oh, there's the shipwreck. We're almost back. We're almost home. All right, let's get out of the boat up here near the farm. And there's some torches here too, so it's nice, nicely lit. Yeah, this looks like a good spot right here. All right, you stay in the boat, and I'll be right back. On the way back to the village, to get another villager, I saw an even closer village. This one's in a savanna biome. I don't know why I didn't see this before. I guess I didn't go this way last time. But uh, yeah, there's villagers here. And uh, this village is even closer than the last one. It's only a few hundred blocks away. And there's a river that I think connects all the way through down there. So I'm gonna try to grab a villager from this village Oh, lava pool, and uh, transport them uh, back to our village. But first, let's see if this village has any good loot. I wouldn't mind taking uh, some workstations. Is that a little dude? I don't suppose there's a cleric house here. Uh, no thanks. If there's a cleric house, I'm definitely taking the uh, brewing stand. I could use one of those. Otherwise, we'll just have to trade with a couple of farmers back at the base until we go to the nether and find a fortress. Um, I don't see any cleric houses here, though. Uh, a couple torches, another saddle, nothing I really need. All right, let's just take a villager and get out of here, then. I don't see any good houses to loot. Uh, did I already check this one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And we could take the hay bales too, but I'm not even going to be bothered really. We're growing wheat back at the base. We'll just uh, farm our own resources. All right, you, sir, get in my boat. We're going for a trip. Uh, let's see, which one of you wants to go? Okay, perfect. Oh, they both got in. 
Uh, that's not good. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> I accidentally punched one of them. And there's an iron golem down there. Uh, my spawn is not set <laughs> at this village. So let's just reset our spawn real quick. And we'll check with the, our iron golem friend. Hey, bud. Hey, hey friend. Are we, are we good? Uh, yeah, he knows it was an accident. <laughs> All right, let's get back up there and uh, grab one of these villagers again. Hopefully just one of them gets into the uh, boat this time. Okay, you're two villagers. Uh, where did the other one go? Uh, these guys are running around all over the place. Um, I need you to move. Uh, actually, one of you would be even better. Uh, I don't want to have to boat over these path blocks is the problem. So, let's see. What if I put a workstation down over here? That might work, huh? We'll put, uh, like, a composter right here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, good. We got a villager in a boat, people. Watch out. We're heading back to spawn. All right, I should be able to get all the way down to the river from here. By boat. And then we'll boat the river until we can't anymore, just like we did before. Uh, can I get down here? Let's go. We'll do a little uh, detour over here. We shouldn't take any damage in the boat. All right. And all the way down to the river should be downhill. So we shouldn't have to get out of the boat for any reason. Let's uh, stay away from those path blocks, though. You don't want to get stuck on those. We're going to have a desert villager and a savanna villager. I hope they keep their skins. Uh, one time I transported a villager out of their biome and they lot and they their skin reverted to a normal plain villager skin, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Okay, there's the river. We're making some progress. As you can see, the jungle is over there. That's the same jungle we've seen before. And this water here should take us pretty much all the way back. Uh, let's see, wait, was it back that way? Is this the end of the river already? Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought it went farther than that. Here, let me take a look real quick. Ah, uh, let's see. Jungle is over there. It doesn't go all the way through. Well, <laughs> looks like we're on foot from here. Good thing I got some workstations.
Well, it wasn't easy, but we finally got two villagers back to spawn. And it looks like, at least for now, they've kept their original skins. We've got the uh, desert villager there and the savannah villager here. And uh, in between episodes, I'm going to work on getting everything together that we need to create a villager breeder. And once we have the villagers bred up, we'll be able to start uh, trading with them. We'll make a, a little villager trading hall. And then also I want to make an iron farm as well. And I was thinking, let's see, where is zero, zero, zero is back that way. Uh, it doesn't need to be at zero, zero, but I was thinking right out here over the water might be a really good place for the iron farm. So right in this area here, uh, plus it'll be close to our base. And so it should be loaded most of the time. So that's probably where we'll start building that and i'll get the resources ready as i said in between episodes so until next th next time uh thanks for watching this episode of the let's play and uh, i'll see you in the next episode bye bye